I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call her. Welcome to Canonical Chronicle, episode 7,302. Coming to you live from London Bridge. Let's get into it. Hello, I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl who looked good. I would call her. Now, when it comes to Serp real estate and straight up gangster moves, Google's ethos is, I want it all and I want it now. I want it all! I want it all! And I want it now! So this week Google rolled out Hotel Search. It's a new feature that allows you to search and compare hotels the exact same way you can search for flights. OTAs all over the world don't know what to do with themselves. One minute Google gives you this golden egg, unlimited free traffic to grow your business, and then... No time to argue. Throw me the idol, I throw you the whip. Give me the whip. Adios, senor. And big players like Expedia have experienced significant share price drops on the market opening. So if you're in the hotels business, now would be a very, very good time to move all budgets over to paid, long tail SEO and content marketing because the value of position one rankings has literally went through the floor. Google Ads have announced that they're introducing a new budget planning tool. You can now create a budget plan based on clicks or conversions and Google is going to show you how your budget change will affect your performance. Now, I don't profess to be a fortune teller, but let me guess what Google Ads are going to say regarding your budget. Honestly, what do you think you're going to do with all of that? This. I kid, I kid, I kid. Uh, it's gonna be a lot more useful for those more kind of basic AdWords users. Um, to give them confidence to invest a little bit more in their paid search campaigns. But for advanced users, this feature is at best a nice to have, at worst it's a bit of a gimmick. Now when people usually say API or start talking about ad scripts, my first reaction is... I know what you're saying, you're so smart. But now you don't need to be incredibly smart to use the API or programmatically change things in AdWords without blowing it up. Um, this avocado just gave me a wedding ring. This new feature is dubbed as marketer friendly, which means you construct queries using a very simple visual interface. As screens and phones are getting bigger and bigger, Google is showing a lot more information on the mobile SERPs, this time with images. Hello? No, I'm in an art gallery. No, it's rubbish. Yeah, total rubbish. Yeah, chow. So if you want your images to start showing up, there are a couple of things that you're gonna need to do. Number one, add schema markup to the product that you want to show the image for. Number two, optimize for speed. Number three, add an alt attribute. And number four, use semantic HTML in the markup to declare an image as an image. Now, this sounds really basic, but when it comes to you telling Google what's happening on your site, you've got to be really, really explicit. <sighs> what are you? I'm a mouse. Duh. So when you implement this, expect your click-through rate to go up considerably as it's taking more screen real estate than ever before on the mobile device. Your Google Shopping ads are now going to automatically appear inside of Google Image Search. So if you're on shopping ads, you're now going to see them show up in image search as a default. Now, Google says that you should expect to see a 3 to 10% increase in clicks at a lower cost on the same medium. It's going to be really fantastic. It's going to be huge. Now, will it result in the same quality traffic and higher conversions? Maybe. Remember, with all of these updates, you need to look at them through the perspective of your own website. I stand upon my desk to remind myself that we must constantly look at things in a different way. 
but just to give you a heads up, it will definitely screw up your reporting for shopping ads. So what I'd advise is tell your clients now before the next reporting run that the numbers might look a little bit out. That's everything for this week's Canonical Chronicle. We hope you liked it. Please do follow us on social. Thank you to Tim Stewart again for another rap lyric. Please comment on the lyric you want to see next week. But until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>